Over the decades, comic book writers and artists have proven the unique versatility of the medium and its power to blend vastly different genres. In doing so, powerful new narratives and captivating storytelling techniques can be explored in ways that may not be possible through film or novels. One of the great modern examples of that power is writer Juan Diaz Canales and artist Juanjo Guarnido's Black Sad, a hard-boiled and mature detective series done in the anthropomorphic animated style of classic Disney films. Beginning in the year 2000, the series follows John Blacksad, a black cat private eye who investigates all manner of heinous crimes in a 1950s America populated by anthropomorphic animals. As of 2017, five volumes have been published, with each being approximately 50 pages in length and following largely standalone tales centered on Blacksad. Rather than being published in a monthly format, the series is continued through irregular volumes, which surely gives time for Guarnido to craft his incredibly intricate pages. Black Sad's cat-like nature is the perfect pairing for his slick, cool, and deadly persona, but the choices of animal are telling for every character who enters the narrative, as their creature-specific characteristics are used to play off stereotypes or highlight the nature of a very specific character. Policemen are frequently depicted as bloodhounds, German shepherds, or other hunting dogs, while sleazy criminals like hitmen or thieves are most often reptilian or amphibian. When paired with the frequent bloody violence and mature themes of the stories, these Disney-like characterizations are upended for something incredibly intriguing and often shocking. That juxtaposition turns Black Sad into a wholly unique reading experience. Make no mistake, Black Sad is for mature readers due to its content. While it may not be shockingly gruesome or feature gratuitous content like other comic books that try and push the boundaries, this is still on the level of an R-rated crime film. While the juxtaposition of bright, Disney-esque art with dark plots may give the impression that Black Sad is a parody, it truly is not. Rather, Diaz Canales and Juanito take their creation very seriously, while still knowing how to lighten the mood through bits of comedic levity. It's this intense approach to the noir stories that gives the series its brilliance. The noir detective story finds its roots in 1940s pulp detective novels, where hard-boiled detectives spat terse words while investigating corruption, crime, and dangerous dames as they walked a fine moral line. The style and structure was quickly set in place by writers such as Dashiell Hammett and Raymond Chandler, which has largely remained the same over the years. In addition, many of these crime novels were quickly adapted to film, which helped to solidify the visual style of film noir through classics like Double Indemnity, the Maltese Falcon, and The Big Sleep. Men decked out in suits and fedoras wielding pistols stalk dark alleys at night while beautiful women in elegant dresses use their cunning wits to pursue their own goals. Violence, corruption, crime, and sex all mix together as the morally ambivalent protagonist works to uncover the truth behind a mystery. Most often, it ends with someone dead and someone going to jail. Each entry into the Black Sad series involves these elements in one way or another, but never repeats itself. Thanks to frequently changing up the settings, the detective hero encounters everyone from corrupt businessmen to white supremacists to down-and-out musicians. While only a few characters outside of Black Sad himself make return appearances, his tabloid reporter weasel friend named Weekly being the most prominent and the funniest, each volume digs deeper into the lead character. While there is no needed reading order, this is an experience that readers will want to dive into from the start. In addition, each entry presents something new and exciting while still delivering the noir thrills that the series is founded on. Diaz Canales has a keen ear for hard-boiled dialogue, even after his words are translated from French into Spanish and English. Not only that, but he demonstrates great timing in unfolding mysteries and balancing character growth with plot developments. Currently, Black's Head is comprised of five volumes, which illustrate the diversity of the series and its myriad themes. Somewhere Within the Shadows is the first in the series, and sees Black Sad drawn into the mysterious murder of a famous actress he once loved. Hounded by hitmen and unaided by police, Black Sad works to find both justice and revenge. Filled with literally slimy assassins and corruption that reaches up to the highest echelons of society, Somewhere Within the Shadows has the style and structure of many of the great noir tales. It's clear why readers were hooked on this series from the very start. In Arctic Nation, Segregation, economic depression, and racial violence explosively collide in the suburb known as The Line. Here, fur color is substituted in for skin color, which pits Black Sad against the white supremacist group known as the Arctic Nation in the middle of a kidnapping. Adding in race is a surprising twist for this anthropomorphic series, but it makes complete sense given Black Sad's focus on real-world issues. 
Having this thrown into the mix in only the second installment gives greater layers to both this and the stories that follow. The Red Scare rears its ugly head in Red Soul as Black Sad works to protect a nuclear physicist from assassination due to his association with a leftist group and several known communists. In a reflection of McCarthyism, politics and mystery come together to form a tragic tale, which includes heaping helpings of paranoia and an unexpected romance for our hero. Of course, tragedy is never far behind in any good noir. A Silent Hell sees Black Sad and Weekly travel to New Orleans to track down a talented musician who has disappeared. The narrative's focus is a potent mix of drug addiction, music, and the terrible cost that comes at pursuing a legacy that lasts after your death. The New Orleans jazz scene is the focus here, and the rhythm and importance of music seeps into every scene from start to finish in A Silent Hell. The latest, Amarillo, has Black Sad on vacation after A Silent Hell with the off-duty private eye accepting a job to drive the prized car of a rich Texan to Oklahoma. But when the car is stolen, the detective ends up entangled in the feud between two writer friends and the sudden intrusion of his very own sister in the middle of the American heartland. Amarillo may have the most unique tone of all five stories, as the ideas of artistic integrity mixed with a colorful road trip and some sudden intrusions of shocking violence. Comparatively, Somewhere Within the Shadows is pitch perfect as it hits each noir note just right even if it doesn't reach beyond the typical trappings of the genre. Each subsequent volume reaches for something new, with racism in Arctic Nation and the Red Scare and Red Soul being particularly potent topics. Altogether, once you're hooked on Black Sad, which should be about five pages into your first issue, you'll want to read them all. Of course, there is no discussion about Black Sad worth having that does not give proper attention to the artwork of Juanjo Guarnido. Prior to beginning Black Sad with Diaz Canales, Guarnido worked in France for Walt Disney Studios for several years, including being the lead animator for the villainous leopard Sabor in the animated film Tarzan. When comparing Sabor with characters like Black Sad, it's clear to see Guarnido's style, which blends finely detailed musculature and facial expressions with a heightened cartoonish style. Together, they bring these characters to vivid life in a way that feels real while still popping off the page from frame to frame or panel to panel. In Black Sad, Guarnido has created vivid, memorable characters who walk the line between animal and human in order to encapsulate their unique species while still emoting in a relatable, human manner. Many of the stories take place in real-world settings, with actually existing buildings, streets, and landmarks serving as backdrops for the events of each story. As such, there is an even greater sense of realism given to the proceedings, which heightens the stakes for each mystery that Black Sad must solve. From the very start, Guarnido's art is absolutely stellar. His clean and realistic lines blend with detailed watercolor work, which makes for an incredibly adaptable look. Dark and dirty bars are the perfect backdrops for brutal brawls, while glittering casinos work wonders in the Red Soul storyline. Somehow, Guarnido's art only gets better with each successive story. In particular, the Mardi Gras setting of A Silent Hell creates an enormous shift from the typical dark noir look, as Black Sad must make his way through vibrant parades and colorfully costumed characters. But even within a single story, Guarnido shifts color schemes and tones many different times to suit the mood. Above all, his anthropomorphic characters are chock full of detail. There are no shortcuts here, as everything from a wide city shot to a massive close-up is given as much detail as possible in order to bring each character to vibrant life. Just a single panel can be studied at length thanks to the immaculate work of the artist, making the series easily worth it for the art alone. As the twists pile up from story to story, and the tragedies loom larger and larger, the tales of Black Sad become increasingly unpredictable and addictive. With all the timeless trappings of a genre created long ago, and all the sensibilities of modern artists given free reign over their creation, Black Sad is a truly special experience. It feels at once comfortingly familiar yet startlingly unique. Whether you love crime stories and are looking for a new avenue for the genre, or are simply searching for something different in the world of comic books, Diaz Canales and Juanito's Black Sat is a must read. These unforgettable, wholly original noir tales will transport you to a dark and dangerous world that you will never want to leave.